Lawmakers in Colorado are making efforts to rein in entities like Ticketmaster and Live Nation after growing complaints about exorbitant fees. A new reform bill has already passed through the state Senate, one that would appear to crack down on ticket sellers. But tonight, an opponent of the bill warns, don't be fooled by the title. KRDO News Channel 13, Spencer Soysher joins us live from the Broadmoor World Arena to explain. Spencer. Barton Heather, when people show up to see Ice Cube here at the World Arena in August, it's going to be a good day. Tickets are also going to be pretty expensive. But if this new bill were to pass through the state legislature, it would make it so Ticketmaster could make it so you couldn't get a ticket somewhere else. Across the country, lawmakers are trying to pass ticketing reform bills. Much of it coming in the wake of the Taylor Swift tour debacle, where many of the tickets ended up on resale websites for a lot more money. Enter Senate Bill 2360, Consumer Protection and Event Ticketing Sales. It's looking to crack down on deceitful ticket practices from third-party vendors like the scalpers who built Taylor Swift's fans. But in doing so, it grants more power to primary sources like Ticketmaster or Axis, allowing them to control more of the market. It's not a consumer protection bill. It is an industry bill disguised as it. Brian Hess works with Sports Fans Coalition, a nonprofit that claims to protect buyers by fostering more competition between ticket sellers. I have never in my career seen a bill entitled consumer protection not have a single consumer protection organization endorse it. To understand the problem, Hess says to look no further than who's lobbying for it. Turns out it's Live Nation, the owner of Ticketmaster, AEG, Access, and Cronky Sports Group, who owns Ball Arena. It only regulates one side of the market. Hess is lobbying against the bill with companies like StubHub and SeatGeek, where individuals can resell their tickets. Hess believes the lawmakers supporting the bill aren't seeing the whole picture. They want to control every ticket that is sold and every ticket that is resold. They don't believe in competition. Hess says the bill also comes up short addressing bots. No mention of it anywhere in the bill. Those are those programs that can snatch up tickets before any actual human can get them. We tried to reach out to the lawmakers today to figure out why they are sponsoring this bill. We didn't hear back. It is set to be discussed on the House floor tomorrow. Reporting live at the World Arena, I'm Spencer Soysher for KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Spencer, thanks.